Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the new Wells Fargo Center. Um, many of us were here pretty late last night. Exciting game. I think I, think I got out of here around 11 o'clock and uh, uh, didn't get the outcome we wanted for the Sixers, but we wish them the best of luck in game seven up in Boston on Sunday, and hopefully they'll bring the Eastern Conference Finals back to the Wells Fargo Center. But today is about the Philadelphia Flyers, and it's about making this the toughest, loudest building in the NHL once again. And joining me on stage, we have Coach John Tortorella, who is setting a new standard and new expectations on the ice for the Flyer. He began great work doing that this past season. Two individuals I'll introduce shortly. And Dan Hilferty, Chairman and CEO of Comcast Spectacor and Governor of the Flyers. Since joining, Dan has made a tremendous impact. Um, he has a reputation for organizational excellence that he's bringing to this organization and also for creating top-notch teams, as we're about to introduce to you today. So please welcome Dan as he is going to share our bold vision for a new era of orange. Please welcome Dan Hilferty. Thank you, Valerie. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I am absolutely thrilled uh, to have you all here today. This is an exciting day. We are on the cusp of a new era of orange. I'm excited to say more about our future in a moment, but first, I want to acknowledge our amazing, amazing past. I'd like to remind people what is past is prologue. I say that quote and I think of Ed and the entire Snyder family. What Ed Snyder Youth Hockey and Education has done has transformed the lives of so many. Thank you, Scott Tharp, Bill Whitmore, Cindy Stutman, and Flyers Charities, and many others for your tremendous commitment. I think of Brad Marsh. Brad, are you here? Where are you, Brad? Brad Marsh. This is about more than a game of hockey, and the Flyers alums exemplify that in all they do for the community. The Flyers in this community this city, we're deeply connected. You can't say one without the other. First, I want to discuss the search process that got us here today. Special thanks uh, to Neil, uh, Neil Glassberg and to Billy King of Modern for your assistance, along with my colleagues, Valerie Camillo and John Master. It was a, a great process. You see, our leadership vision centers around one word, collaboration. There will be total alignment, not perfect, but there will be total alignment between hockey operations and business operations. Throughout my career, I've been fortunate, and I have a bit of a talent, the ability to assemble collaborative teams that achieve great things together. My philosophy is simple. We are stronger when we are together. Magic, magic happens, takes time. But magic happens when talented leaders unify toward a collective goal. For us, it's about winning uh, or developing a winning culture for our beloved Flyers. Now, we're pretty lucky. We already have two outstanding leaders in Valerie Camillo and Coach Tortorella. Our search for leaders in hockey ops was about constructing the best team. We look for individuals with complementary skills personalities, and experiences. This was about putting the right people in place to re rebuild the team and sustain a winning culture. One thing we heard from a number of candidates who asked the question, are the flyers for sale? Let me emphatically say, no. Comcast Spectator intends to have a long and successful run as owner of the flyers. But today, today we start a new chapter. But before we get to that, I have a message for our fans. You, fans of the Philadelphia Flyers, are the heartbeat of this team. Everything we do has to be for you. When I think of our passionate diehard fans, I think of Rick Genslinger, owner of Slinger's Broad Street Bar in Reading. I haven't been there yet, but I'm up for a road trip, if anybody, uh, who only got to stay up late as a kid if it was to watch the Flyers with his father. The Hart family, Gene and his daughter Lauren, who devoted their lives and voices to this team. Pat Smart, 
a season ticket holder for 15 years who enjoys bringing his grandkids to section 107 right before you, behind you each year. Our 30 charter members who have each held season tickets for more than 50 years. Zachary Wirtz, our make-a-wish kid last season whose wish wasn't to go to Disney World, it was to skate with the Philadelphia Flyers. Sean, Rasmus, Nick, you have a responsibility to these young people because they're not just watching a game, they're watching you to learn about life. So thank you for the leadership and all of your teammates will play in making that happen. Also, to the more than 100 high school players here with us today, whose hard work led them to win their divisions of the Flyers Cup Championship. Let's give the champions a round, a round of applause. I also count myself among those lifelong fans. Uh, as a freshman at St. Joseph's University, decided to skip two classes with a group of friends to drive into Center City, Broad Street, for the second parade in 1975. We all have different hometowns and histories, but we're all united in our passion for the Philadelphia Flyers. So I share our new leadership mentality. The message to our fans is this. We need you. We want to make you proud to wear orange and black. We intend to compete at a high level year after year. We will do things the right way on and off the ice and we promise to be transparent along the way. This will not be perfect. No human organism is perfect. It will take time, so be patient with us. But know that our goal is singular, to deliver a championship or more and to be the envy of the NHL. So you'll notice that we've introduced a new theme, the new era of orange, like I said earlier, what is past is prologue. The new era of orange is about setting a new path forward while respecting the rich history of this franchise. I want to recognize and thank many of the alumni in the room with us today. Thank you. Thank you for your time, your energy, and your passion. In particular, I am deeply inspired by the work the Flyers Warriors, of the Flyers Warriors program. This program connects with veterans and teaches them about learning and playing team hockey while also focusing on their own, their friends, their families, behavioral and mental health. I'd like to point out two members of the Flyers family whose children are currently serving in the military, and I'm sure there are others. So this is for each of you too. The first is Franny Shidley, who works in the executive offices here, whose son, Stephen, is serving our country in the Navy. And the second is Coach John Tortorella, whose son serves in the U.S. Army. So what you do with the Champions alums is so important. The Warriors is so important. So let's give a round of applause to everyone who serves our military. <laughs> to alumni near and far, we greatly appreciate your support and loyalty. You never gave up neither will we. And selecting two of your fellow alums, be assured the traditions will be honored and determination will be the hallmark of this team. I know some people are thinking, here they go again. Hiring two former Flyer players isn't a fresh start. Let me share with you that during the process, our goal was to hire the two best candidates. It just happens that they're former Flyers. We were inspired by the Titans who won us championships in 1974 and 75. We need to channel the spirit of those early years as we build anew. Equally, we need to embrace today's modern game, one that requires speed, power, and strategy like never before. So before we make the introductions, I want to explain how this group will work together. We've been We've been very thoughtful in how we constructed the leadership team. Keith, in his new role, will lead the big picture. Here's what that means. Number one, implementing the organizational vision and plan alongside the leadership team. Collaborating with Coach Tortorella and Danny Briere about the team. 
collaborating with Business Ops and Valerie Camillo on the strategic direction, and collaborating with the League when necessary. Three, connecting with business leaders, corporate partners, and other teams and fans. That will be the president, Keith Roll. Danny, as general manager, will oversee all hockey decisions. This includes signings, trades, the draft, as well as overseeing scouting, player development, and roster construction. He will apply the data and analytics, along with Coach Torts' view of the eye test, to create the best decision related to the roster and the future of the Flyers. Coach Torts is the bench, bo uh, bench boss, and he decides what happens on the ice. Make no mistake about it. John Tortorella is our spiritual leader. This is a model that has worked successfully for other organizations, and I feel certain it will work really well with these three individuals at the helm. Hockey leadership will work in lockstep with Valerie and me. Valerie oversees business strategy on and off the ice for the team and the arena. She was usually successful in overseeing the nearly $400 million project to transform this building into the new Wells Fargo Center. I'm so proud to work alongside her. The two gentlemen about to be introduced know what playing flyer hockey is all about. Their names are familiar to fans and around the league. I can assure you they bring a fresh perspective and what it takes to restore a winning tradition. We are one unit, and we will be one unit, with a common goal in mind, to bring a Stanley Cup back to Philadelphia. Thank you very much. So now we'd like to introduce our new general manager. It was clear to all of us from the start that Danny Breer was the right person for this job. He is brilliant, he is data-driven, he is analytical, he's hardworking, he's a great guy. I've known him for going on almost five years, and he is ready to rebuild this team into a perennial contender. He has an impressive career, incredibly impressive, both off and on the ice. He spent 17 years as a professional, six as a flyer, a multi-time all-star, and a playoff legend. When the lights are the brightest, Danny Breer is at his best. Off the ice, he's a natural leader, a strategic thinker. He spent eight years in the front office in a variety of roles, learned about the business, learned analytics, learned about hockey operations. He knows the organization inside and out. He's never stopped learning, always striving for continuous improvement, exemplified by his continuing education at the Wharton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania. And he's the proud husband to Misha. And if it's possible to be more impressive than Danny, you should meet Misha, uh, who served our country proudly in the Air Force. And he's dad to four sons. Danny is the right person for this job at exactly the right moment. He understands today's game. He understands today's players. And he knows what it takes to build a Stanley Cup contender. It is my absolute honor to please help me welcome, join us officially as the general manager of the Philadelphia Flyers, Daniel Breer. Thank you, Val and Dan also. Thank you everyone for coming out today for this big this big announcement, um, and especially a big thank you to my family, my wife Misha, and my four boys who uh, have been very supportive of my path uh, throughout my career, both as a player and over these last several years, building a career uh, to be able to reach this point. You know, it's pretty cool to be to be here again on, on not on the ice per se, but in this building on the ice. Um, I have so many great memories of playing, some great moments in this building. Uh, but I remember when I retired, um, I was fortunate enough to start in the offices up here um, and probably with a lot of you that are, are here in attendance. Um, and that's when I realized I met, first of all, I met some great, great people. Um, I saw a whole new side 
of the team and just how everyone works outside of the locker room, behind the scenes, to really make a team successful. Jonesy, I am so excited to have you as our president of hockey operation. I've always admired your mind, the way you think the game, especially the way, not that you only break down all aspects of the game, but how you translate it um, to your audience to make it relatable to them. It's one of the many reasons why you're well known and so respected in all corners of the hockey world. I'm looking forward to working with you. With this leadership, in, uh, leadership group in place, we're going to do this right and together. If there's one message that I want to send out today, especially to our most loyal fans, is that you have my full attention. It's been an incredible honor to serve the last two months as the GM of the team. And the fact of the matter is that it's only made me hungrier to turn this thing around. We are on our way already. And I consider it my highest duty to rebuild and restore this team to its winning ways for years to come. Thank you, and I look forward to this summer and the start of a new Flyers era. Thank you. So now I'd like to introduce our president of hockey operations. Uh, for this search, we were looking for someone who could not only succeed in the position, but also be a great complement to Danny and Tort's unique skill sets. And no one fits that bill better than Keith Jones. Keith spent 12 years as a player, many more in the broadcast booth, and he's steeped in the game of hockey in a way that few others are or could ever be. Ask anyone around the NHL, and believe us, we did. Keith Jones is a great guy. He's a great, smart hockey mind. He's hardworking, tenacious, greatly respected. As a player, he never let up. He played through injuries. He uh, was very difficult to play against, making you know, the lives of our opponents quite miserable. And as a national broadcaster, he got to know the league inside and out. During the interview process, what shone through was his intelligence his passion, his kindness, and his understanding of all aspects of the game, including the business side. He's collaborative and he's focused, laser-like focused, on returning this organization to glory. Keith is the kind of person we want in this organization. He treats everyone with respect and kindness. And he cares. He's passionate about the Flyers. He's also a devoted husband to Laura and dad to Adrian. I'm honored to introduce our new president, of hockey operations, Keith Jones. Thank you, everyone. Very proud, very humble to be up here as the president of hockey operations. Very surreal. Um, I want to thank my wife, Laura, my daughter, Adrian, for encourage me, encouraging me to do this. I've been away a lot over the last 23 years. Um, thought I was going to spend some more time at home. That's not the case. We have a lot of work to do. I am thrilled to be able to give back to this city what it's given to me. We have an alumni that is strong. We're going to get stronger. We have people that have been around here and supported us throughout the years. We want you to know that we love you. We want our players to know that we love you. We want this to be a city that everyone wants to come to. When I arrived here in Philadelphia 25 years ago, I flew in from Colorado, a, a tremendous franchise. When I got the call and was informed it's the Philadelphia Flyers, I couldn't get here fast enough. When I landed here, I looked around at the city and I said, I just can't believe I'm part of the Philadelphia Flyers. We are going to get back to that. It's got away from us. We are off to a very good start based upon what happened last year. I'm arriving at the right time, and I'm convinced that together, collaboratively, we are going to get there. That is one of my greatest strengths. Much easier to talk about other people, and a lot more uncomfortable to have people talk about you in a nice way, like all of these people have. Um, but I am promising you that we're going to get it right together. This is not my team. This is our team. And I look forward to working with everybody, everyone that's here, 
and uh, the Philadelphia Flyers are coming back. Thank you. Keith Jones, Danny Briere, welcome home. Although you've been here, yep. Danny, and we're looking forward to an exciting time. I'd like to close with a, a brief uh, quote from uh, the great Ray Bork, and it's in uh, Jonesy's uh, autobiography. Steve Coates has copies available for anybody who would like to purchase one. $65. $65. If there is any one lesson sports can teach children and adults, it is togetherness to stick it out in bad times, in good times, and to face a challenge with a unified resolve. I firmly believe, as a fan of the Flyers, this team will work hard, will be, do it tirelessly, and collaborate around making the Flyers the envy of the NHL. Thank you very much.